Um, okay, I just clicked record and do I have 45 minutes? Is that what I have here? Um, I think you have up to two minutes, two hours. So just go ahead. Talk I won't do that to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're going to try to keep this to 45 minutes. Um, and it's, uh, this one's blogging for business. Um, I've been doing it for about 12 years now. I don't do it as often as I should. I used to do it very frequently and I used to get a few deals a year from it. I know if I had kept going, I would be up there with some of these agents that I know do 25 to 35 deals a year just from their blog posts. And that's kind of what I want to share today, how to do that, how to generate business from a blog, just to add another tool to your tool belt. Um, and let me just see if I, I might just mute everybody so that uh, if you, I, I don't know how you can ask to be unmuted, but uh, I'm, I'm sure there's a way. Um, so blogging for business. Um, I, I use Active Rain, which a lot of people know about, a lot of people don't know about. Um, it's, uh, it was kind of a portal that I came across when I was an independent and I needed to talk to other agents about resources and tools and just general questions. And I found Active Rain to be a very good uh, source for me. And it also taught me how to, how to blog, how to write, how to do a lot of other stuff. So I created this little blog post uh, earlier today um, and I'm going to kind of walk everybody through that. So if you think of uh, blogging for business as farming your virtual community, the nice thing about it is you can, um, you literally get to target who you want to target. You, if you want to target multi-million dollar homes, then you blog about multi-million dollar homes. Um, if you want to target first time home buyers, you, you blog about first time home buyers. So, the beautiful thing about blogging is you create it, you create the game you want to play on and you write the rules on how you want to play and who you want to play with. So, and that's my whole thing as far as niche marketing. If you can discover a niche that you love, then write about it, create, create uh, blog posts, get some Google juice over your blogs and, and run with it. Um, I know I've shared a lot of this with a lot of agents. I personally know dozens of agents on active rain to get, get 30 deals a year from their blogs exclusively. And to me, that's a hell of a business right there just from that. So hopefully this will be beneficial to everybody. Um, a few things you need to know about for blogging is, uh, and I've, I've got a lot of samples up here and I'll share those with you as well. Um, but my particular blog that I've written here or my post on my blog, I should say, um, I'm not gonna teach you how to create a, a, a profile or any of that stuff. That'll be another class or one-on-one -on -one if you want to. This is strictly gonna be how to blog, how to link, how to do all that for business. So um, this particular blog that I wrote today was uh, the 2018 fall market report for Arrowhead Homes in Littleton, Colorado. And I'll share the rest of that with you, 80125. So the more you can dial in your niche, the more likely you are to grab the exact kind of client that you want to target. Um, obviously, I'm looking for people that want to buy homes or sell homes in uh, Roxboro at the Arrowhead Golf Community um, down south. Um, I just grabbed a photo um, that I had on file. Um, one thing you want to do if you are going to be blogging uh, is take a lot of photos of areas, take a lot of pictures of houses that you want to target, um, you know, or different businesses in the area that you want to focus on. Make sure you have a catalog of those so you're using your own content, you're not uh, infringe on anybody's copyright. Um, this isn't actually a photo that I took. It's just one I grabbed for this, this particular seminar. I won't use it uh, for the post. Um, however, I did grab uh, this little toolbar out of the MLS and I'll show you how to do that as well. So first thing when you're, when you're blogging for business, you want to repeat your headline in the first line. Um, 2018 fall market report for Arrowhead Golf Homes. I, I don't need to read all this to you, but what I do is I just put down, um, first of all, here's what's for sale. There's currently 12 homes for sale with the price range. Um, then the next little line I do, and you don't have to follow my rules. This is just how I do it. Um, the next one is there are currently nine homes under contract in this community, and I put their price points. And then the last one is up year to date sales. There have been 29 sales with a price point of 375 to 955,000. Now I have two different links in here and this is the critical part of it. This link right here, um, see if I can make that, oh, it's not actually live yet. So um, I'll show you that and I'll make this live as we go so you can kind of see what happens after you make it live. 
Uh, I have active, under, and sold. And then you do it for whatever. I typically do year to date, but a lot of people like doing quarterly stuff. Um, and I'll show you some of the other agents that do the blogs and how they really do it. And they do it wonderfully. This is just one way to do it. It's not, you know, the, the end all way. It's just kind of a, a general post on how to do things, uh, blogging for business. The key thing to remember here is whatever you do, do it consistently. Um, and you want to have a few links in there. So both of these top two links, Arrowhead Golf Course Homes, they actually go to my website. So this is my personal website. Um, in my site, I have all of the different golf courses already set up in here. Um, that particular search that I have, the Arrowhead Golf Search, um, when I make that live link, it's going to take you to the Arrowhead Golf Community. And I'm going to change all these pictures to match the golf community. So uh, if, an age, if a client was to click on my blog, it's going to take them right to my website and it's going to show them here's the houses for sale in, in the Roxborough Arrowhead Community. Um, they can click on any of those and right up here it says if you want to register to see more listings come up. They registered my site. You start following up on them. Um, this is this is how you create your own lead gen for the types of properties that you want to drive people to you. Um, and and again, I do this for every single public golf course in the Denver metro area. I pretty much go around the 470 loop. I think there's 21 courses that I write about frequently, um, and I'm I'm still dialing in my website so I can I can actually capture some of these. I've got five or six leads that have come in in the last week. Um, I need to follow up with them. I need to get better at that. But the point of this is if you're doing this, follow up with the leads that are coming in because they're they're live and every one of them that signed up said, I have no problem with you sending me more business or sending me more uh, uh, more houses for sale. Yeah, so I'll set them up on a search either through my website or through the MLS. So, um, so part two of my blog here. So the second link, anytime it says Arrowhead Golf Course, it's all the same thing. Um, both of those will take them to that particular site, that page on my um, my website about all the homes for sale. Then they can play around with the site all they want to register if they want to. Um, down here I have below is a chart. I have below is a chart for the annual sales. Um, this particular link actually takes people to my my page. Uh, I'm sorry, the MLS where they can actually search within the MLS for properties. Uh, the reason I have two different ones is because on this particular site, it only shows the actives, which is really what I want. Although a lot of people would like to know if there's active under contract and for sale, and you can grab that from the MLS. What I did is I just set up a quick search and I'll just show you this real quick. Um, I just clicked active under contract sold. Uh, do a little map search. Zoom out here, go down to to the area I want to target. And this is just going to be a quick down and dirty. So um, these homes are right in this area. Include that shape. So this came up with 84 homes. I think I had 50 on the other search. Again, this is just for uh, sample purposes. Then what I did is I grabbed these homes with the results uh, and I emailed them to myself. So I get a link that pops up in my email that I can then grab I can grab the content and uh, yeah, I just spell my name right. Uh, I can grab that link and just put it right in there, insert it as a live link into the site. I have people that have been searching homes on my site for eight or nine years. The, the problem with doing it through the MLS is you don't know who they are or what they're doing. Um, if you do it through your website, then you can actually capture them. I would prefer to do it all to my website. I just happen to have that other link in here to show you guys for the purposes. You can do it without a website. You just really want to be good at trying to reach out to the people that are on there saying, please call if you want to see more of these properties. Uh, direct to the website, they're going to have to give you login information to get all that stuff. So, Do you have to save that search or just email it to yourself? I just email it to myself. Um, yeah, in fact, I'll just show it to you real quick what it looks like. You guys all know what the, those safe searches look like. Um, I'm just going to call it AH and send it. Um, when it pops into my uh, inbox, then I could just grab that link that comes in. This one right here. So that'll take me to this search. I just grab that bar, uh, copy it, and then drop it into my, uh, my search here with the little insert link icon right here. Just pop it right in there and name it whatever you want to name it. Um, this is for the blog. I've got, yeah, I, I mean, I have it on the website. <clears throat> the problem with my website, again, is it's only active. Um, I like to show active, under, and sold to everybody 
And if we can get this dialed in on the website, maybe I'll use it there too, but that's, that's something different. Use the active, that's really what you want. People just wanna know what are homes going for, what are they selling for, so. Um, and this will only bring up the, those homes, but if somebody wanted to back out and look at other homes in the area, they could definitely look at that, and search all homes, because they're now on my website. So that's the goal, drive them to your website. I like them to reach out to me personally also, so I try to write good enough content <clears throat> And again, my, this is just a down and dirty blog post. This is all you really need. I know agents that, and I'll show you some of their, their sites that actually will have maybe just this much information and it'll be a link that directs them to it. All the rest of the content will be as a blog post on their personal site. So if you go to your personal site and you have the ability to do that, iHouse doesn't allow me to do that. Um, they say it tweaks the system way too much, um, but I can change photos out and this and that. And really, this is all I want. I mean, people are going to the site to search homes. That's that's really what what the ultimate goal is here. So, um, so the rest of the site. Then I, you know, I, I say I try to capture people. So I try to talk about something that golfers might be interested in. And honestly, this course is it's it's really a must play course just because of the location and, and what it looks like. Um, it, it's a destination course as opposed to a, just a city course. Um, in fact, they touted it as 300 million years in the making. It's just an absolute gem of a course to play because it's so unique. Um, this particular data then after that, this one is a, is a bar chart on the average sale price in the area. Now you can play with as many different designs as you want to. Um, I'm gonna have to use uh, RE Colorado for this. I know most of us are on the matrix system here, whether you're in the Springs or, you're in the Denver area, Iris, um, I haven't played with on how to do this, but it's very simple here. If you want to uh, create some charts, just go to the rest of the stat button under here. Um, you can customize, do whatever you want to, you do a little map search. Again, this is, this is what I did. Um, let's say I want to do a map search for my neighborhood. I can just click the rectangle and just say, okay, here's, uh, that'll, that'll work for now. I'm going to include that shape. Um, far in a way. Um, so now I have actually selected an area and then I can customize, I can, I can get whatever information out of that I want to, let's say year to date. Uh, let's just say average list price and then list price. So then you generate, generate whatever chart you want to. There's all different types of charts. There's columns, there's bars, there's lines, um, there's pie charts, there's donut charts. All you need is one chart. You can actually grab that, uh, take a picture of it, put it in your in your blog. You can actually link this as a link also. If I wanted to link this to Arrowhead Golf Course Properties, I could just turn this into a link so that if somebody clicked on it, they'd go right to my site as well. There's ways to do that within Active Rain, which is really cool. Um, so again, I, I used Active Rain as my own site for the last 12, <clears throat> 12 years. I didn't have a site up until the last couple years here. Uh, so I'm trying to transition. If you don't want to get uh, a high dollar site, there are like WordPress sites you can get for five or 10 bucks a month that have IDX feeds. Um, the IDX feed is the key for these. You want to make sure that the public can search homes. Um, that's all they really care about. They could care less about, I shouldn't say they could care less. They really want to search homes, then they'll learn to like you and, and, and trust you as you go through that process. So if your goal is to blog for business, you need people to search for homes. Um, so after I do all this, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one off and show you kind of the power of what Active Rain has. Um, I've already kind of created this. You can go public or private. I'm gonna go public. I'm putting it under market trends. So uh, there's a lot of options you can do here. Um, I just selected market trends. Um, then I went to a hyper local. You check the little box up here and I dialed it right into the, to the Arrowhead neighborhood. So if anybody's searching Arrowhead, this will come up on their search. Arrowhead Homes, uh, Arrowhead Golf Course, it'll come up. Um, then I tagged the five different uh, key areas, groups that, I mean, I belong to about 50 groups on there, golf course property, referral group, hyper local. Uh, I tend to get a lot of traction when I post it in the realtor referral network and the realtor groups, um, which is really nice. And I, that's where I've actually gotten referrals. So it's, this isn't about just picking up clients, it's about picking up referrals also. Um, honestly, I've done more business through the referrals in here than I have through clients in here. Um, and to me, it's huge. I mean, I, I think last year I had about $3 million referred to me from agents that just read my stuff, know that I'm the golf guy here, 
and they refer business to me. So um, here you can you can write in whatever tags you want to write in. And I apologize, I'm going to be typing real slow. I'm just going to use one right now. Um, so these are just tags that the SEO will pick up on. Uh, I guess I should do. Uh, what's that? Search engine optimization. SEO, yeah, search engine. So the SEO will grab this stuff going, okay, these are tags, these are keywords. If you can do longer keywords in here, the better it'll be for you. The more the more dialed in a client is, the better it is for us. I mean, if you just have homes for sale, everyone has that on their tag. But if you have uh, patio homes and 80125 zip code between 300 and 800,000, you're probably going to get a lot more people because that's that's a pretty dialed in search. Um, so once I've created all of this stuff, everything is good to go. I've saved all my my uh, stuff. I've proofreaded it. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and hit publish. Um, yes, I'm saying this is my content. I'll have to go back and change that picture at some point. Um, it's actually waiting. It's gonna it's gonna make this go live, and then a couple of really cool things happen once it goes live. Um, it's gonna ask you, do you want to share it? Uh, one of the beautiful things about the paid side of Active Rain, and I'm not, this isn't an advertisement for Active Rain, but it's it's where I've gotten a lot of businesses. I can hit Facebook. It's gonna take me right to my Facebook page, um, and I I was just watching a video through iHouse how I can actually. Um, I can actually create a uh, Facebook page, business page to my iHouse site that is exclusive for golf course properties, which was really cool. So, so I'm just going to type in Arrowhead Golf Homes um, and then I hit post to Facebook. I literally just threw it out on Facebook to everybody. There's literally 192 different places I could throw this at instantly like that. I usually do it on LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Every now and then I'll do Pinterest if it's got really cool pictures. Um, but it's it's where you get a lot of a lot of juice from what you posted. So to that point, I want to kind of show you down here. It says stats underneath the my blog. You can see my little mug right there. Um, the stats right here show. Well, here it is. I've already had four views on it. That's probably just me. Um, the last one I I posted here a month and a half ago. 481 views. Now, I'm not too concerned about comments when you do market reports. The comments are going to come from other agents on Active Rain that are commenting. And I, you know, the views are what's really important here. And the nice thing about this is it tracks them all for me. I've got things in here that have had five, 8,000 views, and I get a lot of traction from that. I even get people calling me for posts I've had up here for 10 years. So once you post and you're live in there and you keep links live, then you can still get business from a lot of that. So. No, this is the world looking at it. So, yeah, it's whoever. What's that? It shows that you are on Active Yeah, I'm on Active Rain right now, but these views can come from anywhere. Um, comments, it'll say how many comments we've had, likes, and then if I if I was to have converted to a short URL link, it, they can click through and go to that as well. Um, I rarely do that. I should right here. These guys, 147 different people went to that one. This is one winning winning the bidding war that was a, a pretty popular. What is the short link? Okay. It's a short URL that you create when you actually hit those buttons I went to. I just didn't hit, hit one of the buttons. Um, I think you can grab that URL and send it off to other people. But um, when you do that, it allows other people to see it. I mean, everyone can see this anywhere. It's, it's out there. It's, it's public. If you were to Google Arrowhead Golf Course Homes right now, you might, it might even come up on a Google search. Um, and that's one of the powers of doing this is you don't have to pay for SEO. You don't have to pay people to do all this. If you're constantly doing it, you'll be on the front page a lot because it's taking the power of all 300,000 agents that are in here and pushing it out. And Google loves that. They love dates. They love numbers. They love data. Um, so it's, it's extracting that and pushing it out and pushing it higher up the, up the list for that. So it, it's very nice when you can go in here and look and say, okay, wow, there's already been four people view it. I literally just posted it 10 seconds ago. Now I probably looked at it four times a day since before it was live, but um, I want to go to a few of these uh, other other people on Active Rain. So um, Debbie Maxwell, she's been on here for years. Uh, I follow her. She talks about some of the guidelines, what to do, what to post, uh, how to post, what's what's great, what isn't great. Debbie Maxwell, D E B E. Um, 
And she talks about the pot of gold. Now, all of these people that I'm showing you all get business from their blogs on here. Um, and some of them probably more than others. Some of them do a lot of other stuff as well. Um, some of them talk about doing nothing but just listed, just sold and neighborhood flyer cards and stuff like that. The ones I've selected on here, they're all people that get, um, and this guy's one of the best, Michael Jacobs. He does a lot of blogging. You can see his title right there. What is your Surfwood Monterey condo in LA 90420? So that's a really good question. This is something a lot of the, the people teach you to ask what is your home worth and then put it in a specific area because people are going to type in what is my home in Surfwood Monterey and boom, he's going to pop up. Then they're going to click on him. He's going to send them a, a thing that'll, that'll actually show them how to value their property. Um, and in here, I mean, this is as simple as it is. He just says, would you like a free market analysis? It's a very simple thing. He probably does a lot of cut and paste with a lot of this stuff here. Um, maybe not. I mean, this all looks like content for those, those particular homes in there. So it's a matter of doing a little research and maybe spending five to 10 minutes typing something out, cleaning it up. There's a lot of tools in here, how to really clean up your blog post so you can do larger fonts, uh, center it, put it on the side. Um, and I'll show you a couple of my older posts that, that I've taken a little more time with. Um, but Michael Jacobs is one of the best at getting business through his blog. Um, Liz and Bill Spear, I probably use them every time I talk about this. Uh, market reports make music to my ears. This guy, he's an engineer and she does full-time real estate. Um, but he does all the blogging for the group and they literally will close 30 to 40 deals a year. They specialize in patio homes in Cincinnati. So if you, if you want to specialize, you can definitely do it. This couple is very good at what they do. And again, I'm not going to read through all these. They're, they're just really good content on what you can, what you can find out there. Um, this guy, they actually said, somebody actually wrote them said, I really love your blog posts. Um, what, what they want is data. So this is telling them what they really want, how you would blog, what you talked about within your blog. Uh, and it's really just educating on people, first of all, that you're knowledgeable, but that they know to go to your site to get more information all the time is what it's all about. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's training within, uh, within Actorine that shows you how to do all that. Um, I think I have a few on my site. Uh, let me see here. If I go to my blog. I think you can set it up in there. So my service area is Cherry Hill Centennial. So basically there are links that it teaches when you set up your profile in here, they, they teach you how to do all that. And there's trading, there's, uh, there's so much trading here, it's unbelievable. Honestly, without Active Rain, I probably would have got out of the business eight or nine years ago. They really helped me stay in here. Um, and now that we're at my site, you can see some of these houses. This is actually one of our agents listings. Um, anytime anybody has any golf course properties, I'll, I'll throw it up here. I also try to throw up some of our higher dollar listings as a company. So if you're looking for something to write about, you can write about other agents listings within the company. You can use your content, take some pictures, post about it. Cause I'm sure they would love the extra promotion. And if you pick up a buyer, they're not going to tell you, you can't buy, you know, you can't bring a buyer to my house. So, um, so when I, when I do stuff like this, and, and I'll, I guess I'll jump into one of my blogs. So this is, this is one of my, you know, coming this weekend, um, I kind of dial it in. And I was like putting the first picture on the right, next picture on the left, and then I kind of go just the rest of the house pictures because people love to see pictures. So I'll put eight or ten nice photos from the house in that one. Uh, I got a couple of links in here to the, to the virtual tour so they can literally click on it. Let's just see where that goes. Um, yeah, it's going to take them to the virtual tour of the house, which will direct them back to my site. Um, so if you have virtual tours, you can do that. I think the best thing to do is direct them back to your personal site, though, where they, you can actually capture them. Because anybody can look at that, and I don't know who they are. They have to just like it enough that they're going to reach out and call me. So um, so going back to Ask an Ambassador. So uh, Hannah Williams is another one. She says, find your niche, write market reports, free market analysis. Um, and she even says in here, I think she says she gets, I don't know if it's in this one or not. Uh, important for the public to read your post. So you got to write market reports. She goes, don't worry about what people say on them. Just keep pumping them out. It's kind of one of those things that you're doing under the radar. And all of a sudden, one day you start getting phone calls going, oh, I see you're talking about Cherry Hills all the time. I want to buy a home in Cherry Hills. She says in here, three to nine months, you'll start to receive calls if you put in the time. 
Um, I've seen agents that close the deal within their first six weeks of blogging. Okay. So it's not like it's going to, but you have to do it consistently and consistently is probably three to five posts a week um, about market reports. And the nice thing about market reports is you can pick every single neighborhood. Just, you know, every neighborhood can have a market report, you know, as long as it's got enough homes to write about. If it's, so, you, so, you can, oh, so, that's how you know. so you can have tons of content from the market. So I do, like I say, I do maybe 21 golf courses. Um, there's Arrowhead right next to that's Ravenna. Both of those have 40 to 50 homes for sale all the time. Then Castle Pines has three or four golf courses. Um, if you wanted to do, like say the neighborhood I live in, I live in the Knolls right next door is Cherry Knolls and there's Tiffany Knolls and there's the Knolls townhomes. I could do a, a post on each one of those individually, a market report on each one of those individuals. So you always have content. And if you're doing one a day, once you learn how to write the market reports, um, you can do them in about five minutes. You can literally bang these out in about five minutes, post them and they're gone. And then you go about your day to day business. And eventually you're going to start getting traction and start seeing business come in from this and you'll transition away from all the rest of the business. You're, uh, I shouldn't say that I would transition away from all the other stuff that I'm doing and focus more on this and maybe add more blog posts or maybe target a different market. And I'm going to show you a couple of other agents here on, on how they do it. Um, well, this guy just had to write a market report for your real estate blog. I, I kind of Googled, who the top guys were, uh, Jay Phillip, I followed him for years. Um, he says exactly what to put in there. Be specific uh, with regards to your charging grass, less is more. So he says, just put one in there. Um, and his specific, you know, he says, be very, very specific about everything you put in there. Um, uh, Jay Phillip Ferranda, I was following him. I don't know why I'm not following him anymore, but I'll follow him again. Um, I've actually talked to, to him a couple of times. Uh, he's a New York agent, um, very productive agent in New York. Um, and he says, sell the area. So if you do target, like I know, Rob, you're moving up to Bailey. There's probably some unique shops and stuff up there. You take pictures of the local stuff and you post it in here along with the rest of your stuff. They're going to know you're the guy that's up there. They're going to know you're the guy that's involved and stuff. And, you know, whatever community it is, I mean, every community has their unique, little, their little nuances and stuff. So says keep it simple a link to prior posts that's huge uh if you can tag back and forth link back and forth between active rain and the website google loves that they love links because they see two people talking saying well there must be something here so the other nice thing about this is if we get a group of 10 or 20 agents from colorado active rain i'm sorry k company and then maybe 20 or 30 in florida k company is going to rise to the top really quick because there's going to be a lot of power that they see and it doesn't take a lot of us to have to do this you know um it, it's very simple and then like here it says wrap it up the call to action if you have an idx solution click it this is the whole point link to it so you want to make sure your links are in there they suggest three times in a post once at the beginning once at the end and somewhere in the middle so if you have a if you have a link to your website or you want to just drive them back to you know, the, whatever your search is here in the MLS, feel free to do that. I would say getting a website, finding one with an IDX feed you can link is going to be critical to this. So, so there is money that, you know, it does take a little bit active rate. I think it was $199 a year. Um, as you start building points in here, you can reduce your, your monthly fee by 10 bucks, a, 10 bucks a month or annually. It, it goes down to nothing once you're over a half million points. And I know a lot of agents that have gotten to that point uh, within the first year of blogging on here. So, so if you're active, you're committed, you'll spend 199 bucks one year and you're done with it and you'll be, you'll be a top agent. Uh, you'll get a lot of business from that. Um, what's that? It, I believe it's 199 or they do a monthly that's like 39 a month. Um, but it's 199 a year. And, and if, I know it even says somewhere on active rain, uh, what are the fees? So if you're not signed up or if you're not a paid member yet, there'll be a little button that says click here for more info. It'll tell you what the fees are. Um, and then they go down, I think at a hundred thousand, you get a break, 200,000, you get a break at points. Yeah. So, yeah. People like and comment, uh, commentary, you get like 2,500. I mean, there's contests, there's all kinds of fun stuff to get points. Uh, but it, it's really more about the content. They want to see content. So they give the most points for content, for commenting, for going back and forth. I know agents that are on here that all they're, they're only about the points. In fact, one of the top guys in Colorado, um, he's trying to be number one in the state. I said, how many deals have you ever gotten from Active Rain? He said, maybe two. I said, what's the point? Why are you doing this? He goes, I just want to be the top agent. I said, 
but what good is that if you're not making any money on it? Then there's other guys on here that understand the power of, it's not the power of the points, it's the power of the message. You get a good message out. And these guys are closing. Again, I would say if I was to look at uh, <coughs> the top agents in Colorado, which this is how I do it. Um, so Joan Cox, Dick Greenberg, Belinda Spellman, those three probably do 100 deals a year from their blog posts combined. Um, Will, and I hope Will, uh, he's out there. He's the guy that says, I just want to be the number one guy. You know, he doesn't, you can see by his post, his content isn't that great. He's only had 25 featured. I've had 20, I've had 40 featured maybe. I'm, uh, I've had the same number he has. I've had 440 posts. He's had 3,300. So good content's going to drive people to you. Um, Joan has been on, all of these agents here on the top, Let's see here. Crystal Craft was the only one above me that's been on here longer than me. She was one of the original people. She's gotten so good at this, she has her own website blog. That she, that's all she does. This is just a very easy platform to learn and use, use how, to, how to do this from. Um, you need to spend time. It's, it's, it's like, you farm, think of it as farming a neighborhood. It's going to take time to build followers and stuff but without the cost of doing that. I mean, farming a neighborhood, you gotta spend postcard money and knocking on doors and stuff. This is doing it virtually. You're, talk, you're targeting the people you wanna target uh, through a blog post. So yeah, it does take time. Uh, again, I've seen like Dick Greenberg, he's one of my favorites. He was one of the guys I thought I had saved after. But um, I met Dick about five years ago. I asked him, you know, why are you doing this? He goes, well, I, I, I need to be in the social media world. I'm an older guy, I didn't have any act access to any of this didn't know anything about it I thought I better start blogging because I heard about it he goes so I was I gave myself six months to see what I could do with this he's the guy that after six weeks he'd already closed his first deal from his first blog post so if you follow anybody on here follow this guy he's very good at what he does um, and he's the guy that's told me he goes I close 25 to 30 deals a year I know Joan Cox does similar she gets a lot of referrals from other agents uh, Dick probably does too but I don't think they're even counting those as part of their transactions in here. I think it's strictly the numbers are from, uh, from people that are actually coming to them. So if you look at all of his posts here, every one of them, Alfred Meadows homes for sale, Loveland homes for sale. Um, and he'll do, he'll do luxury. He'll do condos. He does all of this five bedroom homes, four bedroom homes. I mean, you can pick whatever categories you want, it gives you content all day long. Let me just, <clears throat> grab this one here and just see what happens so he's taking a picture of a house that's in this search he has this is as big as his blog is right here you click on you click on the loveland colorado five bedroom homes and it takes you right to his website where he has that little map he has everything in here and then you register if you want to see more stuff um, he has all the pictures of all the homes that are for sale in that area that match this so you set the page up first you direct people back to it people go to it this is all they want to see great he already knows what kind of client they are. He already knows everything about them because this is what they're looking at. So, um, and again, he, you, his are probably a lot better than mine are as far as, as all the content that's in here. But if you just follow Dick and Mary, then, then you'll, be, you'll be golden with this stuff. He focuses in Northern Colorado. Um, I know he used to be a top Coldwell Banker guy. He left to form his own brokerage with 10 of the, the CB guys and uh, they kill it up there. So um, it, it's a very, very simple thing to do it's just not easy because you got to stick to it um, if you commit doing three or four posts uh, a week learning how to do this uh, you know if you, if you commit to learning how to do this first and then you commit to doing three or four a week I guarantee you'll get business from this if you take it to another level where like I don't know who Dick connects with I connect with other people that write about golf course properties around the country and that's where it's really golden for me like I said I don't get uh, a lot of business because I'm not doing a ton of blogging anymore on here but anytime I see another agent post about golf course stuff I will connect with them anywhere in the country and at some point we end up referring deals back and forth um, it, it's wonderful how it happens so a suggestion on here would be first of all start blogging start writing start posting content seeing if you can drive some business to you um, and they, they teach you how to put the whole thing together all this stuff yeah, there's videos, there's training. You know, one of the nice things about this place is they got a Q&A right here. Um, you can literally ask any question you want. We get a lot of people in our, in our company that go to Facebook for the private Facebook page, and that's great for 
asking questions within the company, but if you want to go bigger and maybe get the power of 3,000, 300,000 agents around the country, you can ask whatever question you want. Like here's Will Ham right here um, asking a question. He's, he's probably, he, he just posts, I know this is being recorded, you'll probably never watch this, but he literally just posts stuff to get points. This, this really has nothing to do with anything. Would a CD of Christmas be important to you? I, I, I post real estate related stuff in here, like this one, uh, e-sign, docu-sign, stuff like that. So you can ask questions in here. The other nice thing about this is the whole university uh, that they have in here. All of this stuff is for the agents that are in here. There's training sessions, modules, um, all types of stuff. They will, they do have vendors that every now and then it'll be one that they want you to buy something at the end of it. But for the most part, they're just teaching you how to do things. Um, and they have like, uh, here's a lead generation course. It's literally several sessions of recorded. These are all hour long sessions that they've recorded. So you literally go in there like you can go into our library and learn a lot more stuff about what you want to learn about. I mean, it's just loaded with stuff in here. Um, the, uh, I haven't even been, I didn't even know what agent to agent is. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, and again, I didn't want this to be an advertisement for Active Rain. It's more about how to write a blog post, how to get good content out there. Um, you really want to just make sure that you're you're linking people back to your site, that you're doing market reports that are very specific with long tail keywords, uh, with basically the headline and then a couple other times throughout the article. Um, and if you if you do it consistently, you will start to generate business from it. I, I promise you that. I I can't tell you how many people. I've turned on to this that write for a week and then they leave. They quit, they quit posting. And it's, I, I recommend everyone that starts on here, start with a free account um, just to see if you're actually willing to do it. Um, because it, it does take some commitment to writing every day. In fact, I was on here for nine months before I ever, before I wrote my second post. Um, the beautiful thing when I joined was it was free to everybody. Well, they came out, uh, my second year, they said, okay, anybody that hasn't posted yet is going to be charged their new fee structure, which is what it is because they wanted to make, turn it into a moneymaker. So I had to prove to them that I had a blog post written, so I was grandfathered in. Um, but it's, it's a very powerful uh, way to reach out to a lot of people. Um, if I was to just go to the main page, you'll see the scroll of all the other, all the other people posting, and uh, you know, you'll find all kinds of stuff in here for the public, for the the private, you know, just the people in here, um, you'll see that I have, uh, well, people that I follow will show up on the right side over here. There's top questions that show up in here. Uh, I, this is, this is the people that I follow that, that pop up into this window here. So, um, and then it even says who to follow people that write good content. These are good people to follow in here. So, um, there's a whole lot of tools. I, I I'm not going to go into the history of this place. I, um, Bob Stewart, I think, was one of the founders. He's actually back in it now. He sold it uh, years ago to Trulia, and then Trulia was bought by Zillow, which just pissed off everyone on here because all of a sudden, the company that we don't want to deal with owns the thing that we're is pushing our content out. So uh, Ben Kinney, who's a top KW agent, bought it back from them. So now it's back to being an agent, an agent portal. So, um, but there's a whole lot of great stuff in here. I mean, you you can. You can search, you can find agents. People ask me, I see it all the time, you know, hey, do you know an agent in, you know, two dot North Dakota? Well, you can go in here and find them real easy. Get a referral, you can look up what they're all about. Um, if you know the county that, that your clients are moving to, you can find a referral in here if we don't have somebody, you know, if it's not Florida or it's not Colorado, you wanna find a good referral person, you can find it in here. Another thing that's in here and it's kind of, it's kind of, gone away but the referral network <clears throat> i share this with people all the time um these are actual referrals that people can take uh if you see one in here i mean you can literally just search for colorado like i said it, it's not as popular as it used to be um here's a uh seller in lafayette selling a half million dollar home anybody want a half million dollar seller they're just sitting in here i, I it's still on here so i'm guessing he's still active it used to be you'd see 20 of these a day in here. Now it's like one every six months because I think people just, they just don't know it exists anymore. So, um, but you might, you know, you might, you might play around with it. You might just reach out to other agents that are in here. 
like the ones that are scratched off, they've been taken care of, or people just kind of quit and forgot about them. So, <clears throat> oh, absolutely. Yep, that's that's what my blog was about. Actually, um, this one here is is one of my listings. Um, and again, I promote K Company listings in here also when I have the time, but I will do every one of my own personal listings in here. Um, it's a great way to do it. And again, if you want more content. Just go into the MLS, find some of our listings, and blog about them, write about them. I guarantee you 90% of the people won't. So why not take advantage, pick up a buyer for other properties if you like them? I know Seth has a couple of nice listings right now, over a million dollars. Why not write about them and see if you can pick up a buyer for them? You know? so. <clears throat> and I know, John, you were asking about those kind of properties. It'd be good to see what they do to market them anyway. So, <clears throat> um, that was kind of really all I had. I mean, I, I definitely have can answer questions. Um, if anybody has any questions, I'm going to unmute everybody right now. Uh, so don't don't have any barking dogs in the back. Um, you can mute yourself if you want to. But um, does anybody have any questions about any of this? I, I have questions. Okay. You. Um, you had um, shown in a post that you actually went through and put it put it that live. How you uh, pulled some stats from our actual Ari Colorado site, uh -huh. and, um, and I guess if I'm not up to speed on how to do that, I know that Ari Colorado probably has a class on this. It's free, or is there something you just kind of get in there and play with the stats? And I would say what you like. And, yeah, I'd say get in there and play with it. It's under the stats button, and you click residential, then you draw your map, or you just pick them all. I mean, there's there's about 100 different settings over here on the left. Uh, you can just use the presets that are in there. And again, depending on which type of uh, data you want, you'll have an option to have 20 or 30 different types of charts. Um, my chart that I grabbed that's on my post was literally just one. I thought, all right, that looks like a, a chart, and I put it on there. I kind of like the pie charts. Um, they're a little easier. Um, I was playing around with it earlier and I can't remember where they existed and under which one of these, but um, maybe I needed a bigger, because like this doesn't have much data. I mean, it, there's not a whole lot. It's just showing one little line. But the nice thing is you can take this and go back, um, it'll go back six years, I think. So if you want to see the trends, it'll, it'll color code each one of them. Um, let me just see. Past, oh wait, there's one. Past ten years, let's just see what happens with that one. Because I get a lot of the good data and charts and info from different um, people that share that info with me or classes that I go to. I just don't know how to sort of create my own when I need it, customize it. I guess I got to get in there and play with it. Yeah. So this one here. Uh, you get in and play with it. See what you want. Um, I don't go in here very often. Occasionally, I do it. I did it. Strictly for that post today. Um, Whoever sends it to you probably could help you out with a link or something like that. Too. If it was from like a title company or something like that, they could probably figure out a way to help you get a link or a graphic on your blog. Yeah, the thing about getting it from a title company is it'll be a link to their site probably. So you want to create it so it all comes back to you. You want to make sure it all comes back to you. So, so this, I mean, this one actually had the donut, so it has the pie in here. Whatever your preference is, you can you can look at it, and again, you can see the different price ranges over the ten-year history of what's going on here. Um, this probably isn't the best way to do a ten-year history because you kind of want to see what does it look like. Uh, let's see if I can do the just the line. It's probably going to create. I don't know why it's only giving me one line there. Um, yeah, I I, there, I had one that had ten different lines, so you can kind of see. The nice thing about looking at these over over a period of time is you'll see that every March and April we get a we get a surge and it dips in May and then June is always a peak and then it dips again and then in August September it peaks again and then it dips again so you kind of see when the trends are happening when you should really target to sell homes and and you share this data with your clients they're saying why should I take a price reduction it's like well you can see that this market dips we're we're kind of behind it right now so if you want to be on top of that, you want to get, you want to hit the target right. So, learn the data, learn what this is in here, take classes on it. Um, it's it's you know it really is valuable as far as uh, sharing with your with your clients. They really want to know. They want they like seeing pictures. I mean, they just like seeing that for the most part. Maybe it's just me. I like seeing pictures. So, 
but play with the stats. A lot of people don't even know that's in here. Um, a lot of people don't even know that's sitting right there. So I think you can do productivity reports. That, that might just be on your personal production and stuff, but it'll do charge for your own, your own stuff as well. Um, I have another question. Sure. Is, um, you know, as we get, if you start getting into this, you start pushing out stuff. Um, is there kind of stuff to avoid, or do you want to kind of stick to your lane or stay on? You're saying, I don't know, I'm going to be so I want to stick to that and block on that and stay to that. Is that kind of a rule of thumb is kind of stay within a certain area of focus, or, or are there things to avoid when you're doing that blogging? Um. Well, you don't want to be negative in any of the blog posts. You want you always want to be positive and always be up. Um, I would say you want to make sure that you intersperse some personality in there. Maybe one day it's all about going to the mountains and, you know, talk about your social life, talk about what you do, and maybe talk about some of that stuff and maybe just throw something out there or maybe something fun that you enjoy doing or maybe something that's like Roxborough. Uh, maybe I would talk about, uh, you know, just going on a hike in Roxborough Park or something nearby this course, and then it's going to give them more, like, oh, it's more than just a golf course there. Um, the uh, Maybe some of the history, maybe it's, uh, like, tomorrow I'm playing, I'm actually playing in a golf tournament out there. It's a, it's a charity tournament, so I'll probably post something about that. It's for, you know, some young lady that has lung cancer that never touched a cigarette in her life. and So I might touch on that to put the personal spin in there as well. Um, to let them know I'm human instead of just this data pusher, you know. So they say about for every three business posts, post a personal one, or maybe every four to five, post a personal one. Um, and it can be whatever you're into. I mean, you know, whatever it is, it, it doesn't have to be. So, um, yeah, if you're just doing nothing but data, and even if you looked at, uh, let me see here, if uh, I guess I can. Uh, Dick is really good about this. Dick Greenberg, he has, uh, um, he has maybe every 10th post is something personal. Um, there's uh, like this other couple I was saying, uh, Bill and Liz Spear, they actually, every Tuesday, because they're ambassadors, if you're on Active Rain and you see somebody with an ambassador star, they're there to help other agents figure this out. Um, they literally do an ambassador post every Tuesday. So every Tuesday, they're going to have something very, very good for the, uh, the rest of us to, to absorb, to, to take a look at. Um, <clears throat> not really, because people are, the nice thing about this is people are looking whenever they're looking. So whenever you post it, um, it'll be out there. And, and whenever they find it, it'll, it'll bring it up. Um, there's, I know there's uh, certain times a day to, uh, there's other internet marketing when to do it if you're rotating ads or something. But this is this is something you're putting out there and it stays live forever. I I wrote a blog about or I wrote a post on my blog about the Denver Music Institute. My son was in sixth grade. He's now 25. So that tells you how long I've been doing this. Um, I just was talking about what a great place it was for him to learn to immerse himself in the music industry. And I, I still get calls asking if their son can sign up for music lessons. They literally see my post and because it comes up higher than the than the Denver Music Institute own stuff. They see that as the top one. As a company, which this is kind of ironic, as a company, the K Company, I get calls daily from people that are looking for the real estate commission. Because on our site, somewhere it says real estate commission approved licensing classes. So people, that comes, we come up higher than the Colorado Real Estate Commission does on people's searches. I get at least 10 calls a week from people. So I just open the site up and say, I got the number, here it is because I get this call so often. So when you start pushing a lot of stuff out there, it comes up organically. You don't have to worry about time of day or any of that timing. It's not like we're, like it's out there, then it's not. It's out there, then it's not. I know there's a lot of data miners that can extract that and say when people are actually looking for blogging, it doesn't matter. You're putting it out there and it's out there forever. So um, just be careful what you say. I. I learned that the hard way. And, you know, the nice thing is there's etiquette. They teach you how to do it, play, play nicely in the pen and stuff. Uh, I'm just going to see if he has a regular post mixed in here, probably. Um, yeah, here he goes, a voyage to the far north. So he, he literally talks about something other than, and you can see by the, let me go back to that. Um, you can see that all of these have zero comments on them. 
Um, so he doesn't care about that. Always have zero comments. Then when he talks about something personal, he gets people commenting. So he had 22 comments on a voyage up north, but nothing on any of the rest of this. These are the ones that are the money makers. This is just to be social with the other agents on active range. Um, and maybe some somebody from the public might join and, and comment or something like that. But so you got to be human in here too. That goes a long way to getting people to know, like, and trust you, which is the whole the whole key to success in this business. So, um, so go ahead. No, no question. Um, anybody else have questions? Is this uh, blog connected to your IHOS? It it's website? not. Um, it is from the aspect that I grabbed this link right here uh, because I, I went to this site first. I grabbed that link, copied and pasted it. Um, I did ask him if I could change the page on here so I could actually write a blog post on each page. And they said, can't really do that with our site. So it's not a, it's not as in-depth site as some may be. Um, but honestly, I don't really need it to be like that. Um, if we, I guess, fix this down, but um, you can, you can create, pages on here that have that stuff but it might and you might put a link on there to this page on there but they say when you start blogging and writing on their actual idx pages it changes the way this looks and it really skews it so people can't find it easy so and i literally just had this conversation with them this morning because i wanted to do that um so ihouse may not be the best site for that type of thing if you're really going to get heavy into this i think a lot of people use wordpress sites for that type of thing um, this one I find works wonderfully for my needs. I mean, my, I, I do the better blog in within active rain and then I just send them to here. If they like what's here, they'll just register and then they join me. So <coughs> I do have, I try to save all of my blog content too, cause I don't own active rain. If they decide to shut down one day, my stuff is gone. Um, so I do have, I do have my own WordPress site, but it's, it's so far buried. I don't, I don't use it. I just, Throw all these posts on there so if I go ahead. Links from your I House website to your Active Rain blog. Yep. And then is it something that shows up in there automatically, or does someone they have to click on it? Because I do have the I House website, and I want to know the best way to post these blogs. Sure. So that, you know, because it seems like posting in Active Rain, it seems like a huge benefit to posting there is to appeal to other agents. Whereas, um, if you know. Without posting an active brand, am I going to be missing out on a lot of business or a lot of um, opportunities? Well, the, the boat I house has a blog feature also. Right, and mine does too, and I and I think that's probably where it, it, you should post the content. But the thing about active rain is there's the two sides: there's the paid side and the non-paid side. If you don't pay for it, it's only going to other agents. That only the community in active rain can see it. If you pay for it and get the advanced side, it goes out to the public. And the beauty of it is it's not just you pushing to your iHouse site, it's you and 300,000 other agents pushing it out. So it gets a lot more Google juice, if you will, than, than if you just do iHouse. And again, I didn't have a website for 10 years and I got plenty of business from just blogging on there without having a website. <coughs> I've always been a relationship guy, so I try to engage people where they are comfortable enough just to pick the phone up and call me instead of going to my site and, and doing it that way. So, um, and that's kind of how mine has happened. I probably missed out on a lot of business by not linking and doing a lot of other stuff, but that's just how I do it. So um, you, you can definitely get by with just a site. Um, and if you, you know, you want to make sure that you set up each of these searches so they're personal. Uh, and again, you can, you can set them up however you want to. IHouse is very good at working with us. I mean, I email them daily saying, can you tweak this? Can you do that? Um, can I change this? Can I change that? Um, and they, they change them like in 30 seconds. So you just reach out to them, talk to them. So you may want to just set up some searches for maybe the areas that you want to focus on in here underneath of, of the main search. I should point with this so people know what I'm pointing at. You got your main search here, they can search anything, but then you got your areas of focus um, if they want to go bigger. What I'd like to do somehow is say, these are all golf properties. It doesn't say that anywhere on here. So I need to dig in more to that. Again, I don't spend a lot of time on the site. Um, I'm going to try to do more of that. Um, if I can free up more time to do that, I will be doing that. <coughs> but it's, uh, you can definitely, like if I want to do Red Hawk Ridge, the nice thing is you click on it and it's going to give you the search right up here. So you can grab that. I could probably copy that and just go to my Facebook page. I'm just going to see if this works. Um, what's on my mind? 
this is what's on my mind. So it's going to be homes for sale. That's really a tough one to figure out. I thought it was going to give me a, a live link here. Um, okay, press, um, hey John, press enter. So Facebook will read, you need to read it. Just press enter. There you go. Okay, so it's fetching the preview. Okay, so then I get rid of this one. And then I would just write it here if you want to look for homes for sale. So you could direct them right from your Facebook page because that's going to take them right to the website. So you could, I could put in here, these are the golf course homes for sale at Red Hawk Ridge. So you could avoid, you could avoid active rain if you want to and, and do stuff like this because the websites are so nice that way. I mean, if you do it through social media, you can definitely do it. Um, it's really all how you want to use what you, what you have. I, I don't really use act or I don't really use uh, Facebook for the business so much. It's more for connecting and then I'll do the personal connections on there. I mean, I might, let everyone know we're having a party or something. Hey, come over, have a beer, and then we talk real estate. But um, you don't necessarily have to have active rain for it. The thing that I, like I mentioned, when I, the reason I discovered it was when I left a big brokerage. <clears throat> I was one of 280 agents. When I left, it was me and my wife, and she was brand new. So she's asking me all these questions, and I didn't know the answer to. So I started looking for chat rooms and, and places to talk to other agents, and I came across active rain. And it was magical because I could literally ask a question at 10 at night in the q and I'd wake up in the morning and 50 agents from across the country would give me answers. Some of them I liked a lot. Some of them were totally obscure. But then I started connecting with these guys and meeting these guys. So it's more of a, it's a community where you can reach out, connect. And, and I would suggest everyone have a free site regardless because the stuff in here you're going to learn is going to be so powerful. Can you blog in other places? Absolutely. I, I don't really know where those exist. This is just strictly through Active Rain. You can do an IDX uh, website. You could do it on your iHouse, I'm, I'm sure. Um, but if you're all on your iHouse site, you're going to have to still promote it somewhere. You have to be sharing it somewhere or talking about it somewhere where it shows up. Because if it's just on there, no one's going to see it unless you're, if you're pushing it out through Facebook. Maybe it's electronic, something you're sending off to people. That's what I like about Active Rain is it's so big. In power, I literally post something and I can send it to 500 other sites. I can throw it on LinkedIn and throw it wherever I want to throw it out there. So if I'm doing, like I do a lot of training videos on here too. I have two profiles on here. Um, a lot of those I'll throw up uh, in my realtor section on the LinkedIn and get a lot of realtors that like it. Um, so I'll connect with them that way. Um, can you um, link up with those, those people you had mentioned who are great to, to follow and learn from and also the resources? For learning about Active Brain, is that all available through the free version? Or the yeah, app? it's all in there for free. Yeah, yeah. They and they really just are. being able to push it out to the to the Google Land. Yeah, um, the paid really comes in. Right? Yeah, the paid goes public. The other one is private. That's all. And but everything you get the same. I I literally I have two accounts. I don't notice any difference other than at the bottom. I'll show you my other one. Just giggles here. Um, So I had set my wife up with an account when she was a licensed agent. And again, she hasn't been licensed since 2007, so it kind of tells you. Um, but this one is my, my alter ego, my Amanda Fish. Um, so this is teaching Amanda Fish, and this is a non-paid account. So the only difference is right here, it says upgrade, and then it's going to say you can pay for the $39 a month or you pay $199 a year, and then it's going to – this is the only difference I see on there is you pay for it. Um, I'm not going to pay for it because I'm almost at, I'm, I mean, I'll be at 500,000 points here probably, you know, another couple of years. And I just go on here and post stuff occasionally, like book reviews, uh, stuff we talked about in our classes, um, just to kind of keep this active. And I, I need different stuff in there. But <clears throat> I don't do a whole lot with this one other than I just kind of log in every day just to see if anybody's reached out. If you have an account on here, you'll get emails from people that reach out to you. That's one cool thing. You post something that gets a lot of traction. Like I had one that had two or 300 comments on here. And I was, you get front page on here when people like it a lot, they give you front page access, which you're on the front page of Active Range for, for a couple of days when that happens. So all the agents across the country see you, it'd be just like this one, you'd see. They don't even have their face on there. So I, I, I would think you'd wanna at least have your, your information on there. Um, a lot of these other people, um, Jan Green, she gets mentioned a lot. Uh, Brevity, this is actually owned by uh, Ben K. 
Kinney. So he's gonna, they're gonna push it, that stuff out there quite a bit. Um, Bob Real Man, I see his stuff. I hadn't heard of this guy, but it says follow this guy. Chris Ann, I know her. Um, so you see a lot of the same people over and over. Um, but one more uh, answer that he didn't quite ask was, one of the nice things is you, you can go on here and you can look for agents in other parts of the country. Um, I just read a blog or, or a post by a lender that I have today. Seattle is the number one place for incoming Colorado, new, new people from Colorado. If I was smart, I would go here and I would search for agents in Seattle that are on here, just start calling and reaching out to them. Hey, I understand a lot of people are relocating in Colorado just to introduce myself, so you're an active brain person. If you ever want to send them my way, I'll, I'll take good care of them. I'll give you a 30% referral or whatever you want to say. Um, it's kind of a no-brainer to reach out to them. Right now, that's where the biggest influx of Colorado agents is coming from. Um, and on the other hand, the biggest uh, people leaving, and they're going to California, Florida, Arizona, Texas, and Illinois. Yeah. Washington, D.C. is another one. It's like, it's crazy. There's this, there's this back and forth between those six places. So reach out to the agents that are in there. They don't have connections here. Um, you may not want to reach out to the top uh, point person on here because they're already connected to 50 other people here, but go down about six or eight agents and reach out to them. If they're active on here, reach out, connect with them and make some good relationships. I mean, referrals are golden. You do that a couple of times a day, just give them a phone call, say, hey, I'm new to Active Rain. I saw a post you wrote. I thought it was great. I just wanted to call you up and say, that was awesome. They're going to love you. I mean, serious. It's it's more powerful than one little comment on here. You can comment, but but reach out to them too. It's It goes a long way to building a relationship of referrals throughout. So, um, what is that? <clears throat> Any other questions? Hey, John, this is Lorena. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Uh, I think this is all great, and, I, and you show it to me when we, we just met. I am big on putting blog posts on Facebook. So this is just another venue, Active Rain. Um, yes. As you were talking, I went to open my Active Rain profile and everything. Will it help if we get a, like a hands-on one Friday for two hours Let's get everybody on active rain and, and, and actually show them how to post one by one. We definitely could. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of what this was about today, but we, we could definitely do that, so. I would love that. Say that, Rob. Say. Yeah, it's, I think, you know, what I would suggest, I'm happy to, to do that. I'm happy to put it on. I'm happy to actually find trainings on here where people have used it and they teach it. I mean, honestly, there's, there's so much training in here. You could sit down a lot of those at the university. If you learn how to blog for lead gen, there's an hour long training in here. You can just listen to. Um, so instead of us recreating it, 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 a lot of it's already in here, but again, I'm happy to do that and answer questions. I'm not, by no means am I the, uh, the all-knowing source of active rain. I've just been on here and played with what I like to play with. Um, I probably haven't even scratched the surface. So, um, but I do know it's powerful. I do know agents that do a ton of business from nothing but blogging on here. And I, it just blows my mind that more agents don't do this type of thing because everybody wants more business, but they don't want to spend 20 minutes a day, every day of the week doing something that'll get them a lot more business. So, um, but yeah, I'm happy to, happy to do that if we want to put it together. I mean, if we get enough interest from it, um, you know, recording what I'm doing right now would be, you know, great if, if uh, it helps a lot of people. But if you want to dig deeper, I'm happy to do that. With you. Yeah, okay, so we put it out there. I think Holly answered that because uh, especially with new, new agents, this is all a lot of information, but actually we need to put them, put your hands on the keyboard and actually do it. And you know, you leave out of the class with your profile done. Gotcha, yeah. 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 I mean, class. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, no, I, I like that. I, I would have no problem um, doing that. Um, I would have to bone up on it. It's been 12 years since I set up my profile. I mean, it's, um, I don't think it's it's too big. You you basically go to your profile and then you just where it says edit. Let's see here. I'm not gonna do it right now, but it, it's pretty simple. I I even need to update mine, but I can show people how to add 
you know, it says service area. So there's going to be a button that says, do you want to edit? I, I know it's somewhere on here. I went through that just setting up a LinkedIn profile. You can kind of paste, copy and paste the comments and back and forth. Yeah, sorry. For some reason, I went to my other profile and it's got me logged in as the other person right now. So. Um, let's see here. My home, I think when you go to your home and then you just do my profile edit. Um, you'll be able to go in here and you'll see that there's uh, the heck is it at a profile um, yeah. blue button on the left yeah and then it'll give you all these little places you can edit your picture you can edit all of this stuff you can add in you know specialties this is where Rob was asking how do you do special services areas you would just go to your 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 uh, page here say okay this is this is a specialty area copy it uh, where was it what I was just in looks a lot like LinkedIn. Yeah, it's very similar. So I want to, I want to update. I want to add another one. How do I add another one? Yeah, uh, my profile looks different than yours. So I wonder if because you are a paid, payment or not. Yes. Um, so this one here, I might have to change. I probably haven't changed this in five years. It's probably going to take you to one of my old companies if I was to click on that. Um, so that's it's good you brought that up. But yeah, definitely. I mean, it's I have to go in here and play with a lot of this stuff. Um, I, I had initially set this up where it would go to my website at the time and it would just grab this stuff and pull it out. But I need to redo those. Um, add a resource link. There we go. Uh, how was that golf course? Maybe that's not what they wanted in there, but anyway, yeah, that would be great. I would, I would love to do something like that. So, so, so good. So we could send an email, and maybe we could take ten agents, bring your computer. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we have yep. uh, the profiles. And then, like you said, the more we post, in fact, we call, like if I have a post, uh, Holly can copy the same post. It's just a matter of promoting the K company as well. Yeah, you don't really want to copy each other's posts because Google frowns on that and Active Rain frowns on that. Oh, okay. Uh, they do have, they do say, you know, if someone stole your content, they will flag both of you. So you don't want to do that, um, but it wouldn't hurt to, write something similar. It wouldn't hurt to blog about each other's listings and stuff to get, yeah. you know, special promotion out there. I know occasionally we get those houses that are a little sticky to sell and gosh, I don't know who it was last week. I know one of our agents, Sarah, she had a tough to sell listing to the point where she was ready to give it away. And she asked on Facebook something and literally it, it sold like it. I think it was something you did, Lorraine. I think you posted about a house out in Strasbourg, she had activity and went in her contract that weekend. So yes, yes. the more we can do to help each other, the better it is. So Sorry, I don't want to look at myself all day. Go away from that picture. Um, any other questions about this, about blogging for business? Or I know I, I kind of went pretty quick and it's there, there's a lot to it. Um, the big thing is the just post consistently. And if you find a niche market, I mean, that's huge. If you, if you write uh, maybe five times a week uh, for six weeks, you will become the expert in that area because you're going to have to research the area. First of all, you have to learn about it and pretty soon you'll be at the top of the food chain in an area. So there's no reason you can't. Um, <clears throat> like I know Joey, he's, uh, he's got a lot of light rail stuff happening nearby. I mean, if he was to talk about, you know, great neighborhoods right off light rail stations, huge blogging. People want to know that that are coming here from out of state. People are reading this from around the world. So whether it's on active rain or somewhere else, if you, if you were to talk about stuff like that, you would attract a lot of people to you because you're the area expert on, my gosh, these are the kind of homes I want to live in somewhere where I only need one car for my family. We can hop on light rail and take it everywhere. So uh, there's, there's as many topics as you can get. And, and some of these people that I, that I found here, they even say, you know, what topics to write about uh, this one here. No. Uh, I think if you go to Ask an Ambassador, there's going to be all kinds of questions. So the Ask an Ambassador group, 
these are all the ambassadors on here and all the different stuff they post. So this is just a fantastic resource right here. And you can see there's dozens of pages full of blogging on what to ask them, what to write about, how to, how to do different things. So, so they, the, whether you blog on active rain or use it, do the free account and use the tools they offer wherever you're using it. I know a lot of people that have been on here that left after five years after they really figured out how to blog well and started their own platform. They never look back at this. Um, but it's a great resource for the 99 percenters that this is all we'll probably ever use. So, um, but you can't do it outside of this. This, this is just going to show you how, and it's free. It's just a fantastic resource. So, um, anyone else? Nope. Well, yeah, we have a uh, um, eight people online and two are on the phone. So you're probably missing the screens and the website that uh, John is sharing. But everybody else is they're seeing your screen and they're moving around and everything. Oh, okay, so good point. Good. Yeah, I mean, I'm still learning this process. So, um, but this will be recorded. Uh, I recorded it all. Um, I'm going to stop the recording right now so I don't get too long winded on it. But um, it is recorded. Uh, I can send it off to all the agents. I I I've started recording a lot of smaller content videos also and I'll, I'll post them in our weekly weekly email I send out some of these will make it to the uh, K company website some I'll just archive myself um, but uh, we want to we want to share as much as we can with everybody so everyone has opportunity so um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording um,